Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video, and yeah, we're back in Basecraft, but not the Basecraft you once knew, this is Basecraft Season 2, and yeah, we started this, I got actually a brand new skin for you guys to celebrate this season, um, my inventory is like full of random junk and stuff, but I will kind of clear out some space so I can show this new skin to you guys uh, that King Alvam helped me uh, to make. But yeah, it's a cool new skin, and yeah, from the back we got a YouTube logo, and we got an S for Star Killer on the front, so pretty cool, cool skin, and um, yeah, this has been a really fantastic start to Basecraft. Um, as you can see, I got some really good supplies. We've only been on for about 15 to 20 minutes, so that's a really good start for a season, I would say. Um, but anyways, I got some footage from what I just did, so I will have to show you guys that, and so let's just get into the start of Basecraft Season 2. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. This is the first episode of Basecraft Season 2. I'm super excited about it. So this is the crew right now, and um, we actually have two new members. So we have Bad Bunny Mac, Wild Soul, and then also me, Starkiller and Blue Scout from last season. So I'm super hyped about the season and it will be very, very interesting to see how things turn out. But we are all starting fresh on a brand new world. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what everybody's bases turn out like. Does anybody else want to say anything? Um... Hi. <laughs> Hello. Well, I guess we got some more members that are joining, well, one or two, um, but they could not make it today, so yeah. Watch out for those people joining, I guess. Okay, so as you can see, I have made this little starter area. This won't be my starter base at all. This isn't where I'm planning to make it, but this is kind of like a camp Well, we're kind of getting I guess the beginning of the season stuff and I already have prepared a bunch of stuff as you can see I have a lot of diamonds not that much but I have a few diamonds and then I got all this stuff and all of this so I have a decent amount of stuff and the level 30 enchanter is going to be really nice I just don't know whether I'm gonna wait to set it up once I get my starter base moving or if I'm gonna set it up in the camp I haven't quite decided that yet, so I guess that's something we'll have to think about. But anyways, I'm making good progress, and I think I'm going to keep on going and see just how far I can get in the very first episode of Basecraft Season 2. So I have made a little bit more progress on our, <clears throat> I guess, little starting area. It's not really starter base, but a uh, little starting area that we're going to start out with. I made a little structure. Um, nothing too fancy, a really simple design, um, just to get us, I guess, started for right now. Um, yeah, just, just like a little shed that we will, I guess, live in for next, uh, I guess, a little bit of Basecraft, probably like this episode, but I'm hoping to get a starter base happening this episode or next episode, and then once we get that in, and uh, that will be really nice. Uh, of course, we're not going to settle down here because this is like right at spawn. Like right around here is spawn. So um, we're not going to settle down here, but um, somewhere close. Uh, hopefully. We're trying to find a desert because that's kind of where I'm wanting to go because I got a couple designs that for my starter base that go along with the desert. So I guess we'll have to see if we can find one of those. But anyways, I think I might go uh, down into the mines and see if I can get some more diamonds. That way, I can hopefully get a full set of diamond armor, because as you can see, my armor is not doing good. Neither are my tools. So I'm going to go get a full set of diamond armor, hopefully, and tools, and I guess I will let you guys know when I'm back. Oh. My gosh, I have been grinding on this world and spending as much time as I can to possibly get it. 
like get full diamond and get a lot of enchantment levels and stuff like that and as you can see by my levels I've been working um, so I would kind of show you what I was able to get yeah I got enough plenty for a full set of diamond armor that that took me forever I'm oh my gosh and then um, I got a bunch of iron uh, not a whole lot but enough to tide me over for a little bit and got some other stuff and I did some more on the base as well before I left to go mining and I added this little area down here where I can enchant I added an anvil and a grindstone to make enchanting easier and then I don't have very much lapis so I'll probably have to go get some more eventually but yeah that's pretty much all I've done so far I got some more work to do um, before I can officially call like my starter little area complete but yeah, this has been going really well. Um, we just gotta add a little bit more around here and then I will have the perfect starting area and then I want to go work with King Ombong and some of the others to go hopefully beat the game here in a bit. And so that will be really cool. We probably won't get it get to it this episode, maybe next episode. But yeah, that's gonna be coming up. Um, but I think that's pretty much all I got for right now and I think I might go and try to build this base up a little bit more, get some more building supplies, and see what I can do. I also need to go exploring for that desert I was talking about earlier because oh, I really need a desert, but there there isn't one around, so I'm gonna have to go pretty long ways away to find a desert. But I'm gonna go do that, and um, I guess I will see you guys when I get back, and we can work some more on this. I guess starting area as you can see I have used all my levels well not all my levels but like all my I guess major levels and I have created diamond armor with amazing enchant enchantments as you can see I'm breaking three fortune two and efficiency three I was kind of hoping for fortune three but I'll get that later and then protection four feather falling four protection three I'm breaking three and protection three so these things I'm going these three things I'm going to need to upgrade this is amazing I won't really take that much fall damage anymore so um, I guess I will talk to you guys after I do some exploring So I've been exploring for a very long time and I've been upgrading my stuff as you can see. I have upgraded to an Upbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4 pickaxe and I got a bunch of other, um, I guess, armor stuff and weapons and stuff like that. But I could not find a desert for the life of me. Like, there's nothing. There's no deserts around here at all. And it's so annoying. Um, I probably explored close to 15 to 20,000 blocks for like five days straight in real life. Well, not five days straight, but you know what I mean. Like, I didn't do anything else on Basecraft for five days, and I got nothing. So, I'm going to choose a new biome to do my base in because, of course, there's probably a desert out there somewhere, but it's probably farther than I would like away from the town center. So I'm going to choose a new biome, and I found a couple places that I think I'm going to do it, but that will be a 
next episode me problem because I don't want to worry about that anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of that. I, I can't do it anymore. Um, but I did see that there's been some major progress on the other stuff in Basecraft. I was gone for a couple of days and this happened. King Ombom has been making some really good progress on the town hall and I'm excited to finish the town hall with him. I think I'm going to work on it with the rest of, uh, with, like I'm going to work on the rest of it with him. So that will be something I'm going to be doing. But I think I want to do one final build for this episode considering I didn't get to do my starter base, which will be one of those hydroelectric um, plant kind of things. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen them in like medieval kind of builds sometimes, but they have like the little um, turbine thing that goes in the water like that on like rivers, and then they produce electricity and stuff like that. I was thinking that kind of build would be cool to have somewhere around here. And after I'm done with using it for like storage or whatever I need for the beginning of the season, I can change it into a shop for wood or something like that later, because that would that way I wouldn't have to tear it down. So I think I'm gonna do that, and, but I want to do it in the form of a time lapse. So let's hop into the first third person time lapse of Basecraft Season Two. <laughs> So we've completed most of what I wanted to do in this episode. We were able to complete this house and it actually looks really good. Better than what I was expecting it to look like. I was not expecting it to look this good. It was really small and it took me a lot of time. Instead of like kind of coming up with a design for it before and um, kind of doing that, I kind of just designed it as I went, trying to kind of create a cool looking design. I looked up a couple Minecraft pictures of like a water wheel design and then a couple real life pictures of like a water wheel house. And then I kind of went from there and kind of went to designing this house and making it look like um, how a similar like real life uh, water wheel house would kind of look like. But um, I think it turned out really well. It looks really really small but also really cozy and comfortable just sitting on the riverside right here so this is a really cool addition and i think it's a really good last build for the uh for the episode so yeah this first episode of basecraft has been really eventful i know this video is late because i took a break for a few days so yeah sorry about that but I think I could have not asked for a better episode. Um, it did kind of suck that we couldn't find a desert, but I think 
it will be all for the better in the end. Um, we're definitely going to want a desert though at some point to get sand and stuff, but um, I think we will be okay for right now. And so, yeah, I guess with that said, um, we've completed the first episode of Basecraft Season 1. So, I'll see you guys in Episode 2 of Basecraft Season 2. Sorry, I, I saw... Did I seriously say bait? I'm so used to it being Basecraft Season 1 still. Like, I'm still getting used to the fact that we're in Basecraft Season 2. So, anyways, uh, I guess I will see you guys in Episode 2 of Basecraft Season 2.